the strongest level five versus a level zero. And I feel like the level zero is going to win because Toma is just different. Now, the vector transform is so crazy that like even like Newton third law, he can re like, you know how if you punch something, you feel a recoil back with each force. There is an opposite in a different direction, but he can literally flip that opposite direction back. So it's like two times the force vector transform is truly just fucking giga broken, but we can reach him. We actually touched Accelerator's hand and he got really pissed off because no one should be able to touch him. But now what's going to happen? He knows that there's some sort of nullification ability. Will Accelerator give us an opening because he gets too cocky? Will he underestimate us? Is his defense even strong? If we land one simple punch, could he handle it? Because I feel like the same thing as like Regulus and ReZero, right? Minus the part where he doesn't seem to take damage if he gets hurt. It's like they don't know how to fight because they're so cocky of this OP power. For Accelerator, because of this OP power, is he durable? If he takes one shot, is that all it takes to win? Let's begin today's reaction. Yeah. Probably. We can't even reach him though. The weakest versus strongest. Oh boy, here we go. You know, it makes more sense how in the opening reaction, all I said was, what the fuck is Toma's ability? All he's doing is running. What can he do, right? He can't do shit right now. He needs to run. He needs to find an opportunity, right? Even though he has this busted ass power called Imagine Breaker, it doesn't mean shit if we can't really make contacts. We have to be smart about this. We have to be very crafty about this. And on top of that, he's nerfed. He tanked Misaka's hits. He's super hurt and injured right now. And he went right into it. This is crazy how Accelerator is pretty much in like peak condition. Toma is in his worst condition. He'll probably still do it. <laughs> All right, the combustion, right? <laughs> Dust explosion doesn't mean shit. We tank me, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> And he tanks it again. <laughs> Why? Toma just doesn't take damage? World first. Don't you go around setting flags, man. Like, I feel like it's gonna happen in this or the next episode. <laughs> We can't reach him. Does he not realize that we made contact with him? I thought that simple example would make him realize that, holy shit, my auto reflect can get surpassed. But maybe he is too cocky. Maybe he's just using that as like a, you got lucky. I don't know what happened there. I feel like if we just punch him once really hard, he might actually go down. <laughs> Even just surely by touching us, he can do that? Because like the blood uh, redirection was when Misaka clone was had like a wound, right? And he basically fingered her. But if he just literally touches us, our organs can just fucking combust. That's insane. That's crazy. Okay. But Toma's different. It is. Finish him, bro. Contact. <laughs> he did it. Okay, the one punch. Okay. Uh, it's just the beginning of the episode. I thought we we're going to win the battle right now. But holy shit, we actually clocked him in the neck. Okay. <laughs> Even if he's nerfed right now, it doesn't matter. Simply by putting your fist like this, we're using his force onto him. Even if Toma's weak and can't punch, all he needs to do is just kind of do this, and we use Accelerator's own force against him. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 
What the fuck? We can throw hands. Why is Accelerator doing this? Bro, you've gotten hit multiple times. Do you think that your auto reflect is not fucking working? Like, what, what, what's your idea here? You should literally set a range, a gap, and make sure he can never approach you. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Bro. Just right fist, right fist, right fist. <laughs> Getting scared, pussy? That was pretty decent. Holy shit, he's... Dude, he's swerving. He's tilting, bro. Okay. Okay. I guess it's a combination of him, like, getting super cocky and thinking he's better than everyone. But, like, bro, what do you think happened? Like, your auto-reflect has him defeated, like, six separate times now. What do you think is happening? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. He's just like Regulus too. The OP powers makes them just complete amateurs. They're too spoiled by this godlike power. And if it's just, you know, against someone who's constantly failed over and over, it's, it's like the exact opposite. My man has never lost and my man has never won, but he just keeps fucking grinding and grinding until he wins. And this guy, if he kept winning and he faces one failure, will he just shatter? <laughs> Thank you for the lift. Why are you fucking doing it? Run away. The clones. It's time to yap, baby. That's why they're people to us. Ask tree diagram. That scream is crazy. That laugh is crazy. He's making weird sounds. <laughs> I have no fucking clue what just happened. <laughs> he's talking, he's speaking the language of the gods right now. I, I don't know. Like, if spirits and shit existed in this world, I could theorize that maybe he's speaking some ancient language to gather the spirit powers right now, but this light, what the fuck is he gathering? I, I don't know! Okay. Light? Light photons? It's like mana doesn't exist in this world. What the fuck is this? Uh, it's gonna do no damage. Thomas still tanking. Yo, the animation's going crazy. Toma, get up, bro. Misaka. Railgun. The coin is there, bro. Railgun time. I wonder if there's any limitations to Accelerator's Vector Transform. Like, if he's focused on doing whatever it is right now, whatever he's gathering, could he also at the same time just reflect, you know, the railgun? Probably. Like, can he multitask? Wait, soundtrack change? He's still gonna shoot. Is she gonna fuck everything up for us right now? What's happening? Okay. That's kind of you. Railgun time. Plasma? Okay, so he's using the wind to gather plasma? What the fuck is plasma really? Is it just existing in atmosphere? <laughs> Alright, hold up. What the fuck is plasma? I know blood plasma. Plasma in the air. An atmospheric plasma is partly or totally ionized gas that is developed at ambient pressure. It is often referred to as atmospheric glow discharge or atmospheric plasma jet. In electrified gas phase, the most influence, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Can you create plasma from air? 
Sure, neutral atoms and molecules form plasma. I don't fucking know. Basically, he's controlling the wind. He's gathering plasma. It's it's just it's 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 ionized atom, fourth state of matter. Sure, he's just collecting the fucking. But why did he have to go? Why? What was that part? Who's he talking to? Is that just his thing? He has a maniacal laugh. Like, like, like what, what part of the voice acting there is necessary? What is he doing? Is he, it's like, it's like bird mating noises. What the fuck? <laughs> oh la, that thing building up. Means I could do something. Broad. Kaze. Turbines. Wind turbines. So we know that the wind turbines are actually moving due to Misaka's actual electromagnetic like presence, right? The wind turbines are actually super fraudulent because you think that the winds are actually moving and no, it's being powered. If Misaka can now make those wind turbines move so much faster than the force at which Accelerator is gathering that shit, then maybe, just maybe, we could undo this plasma shit? Therefore, oh god, it's the cat again. 32! 32, you gotta wake up, soldier. Wake up, 32! But you can, 32! Preserve his dream. Who is he? The intuitive answer is Toma, but what the fuck is Toma's dream? Are you really that close that you're speaking on behalf of the Toma right now? Accelerator's dream? That makes no fucking sense unless there's a side of Accelerator that we don't really fucking know. His dream? It's Toma, right? 32 is up. Talk no jutsu worked. No panty shot, thank god. Alright! Only because Toma was mentioned there. Also, this Misaka right now actually looks like she's smiling rather than dead. Things are looking pretty good. Let's go. Level 6 cat also helping out. Look at that level 6 Nia. Ooh, this soundtrack. Wind turbines. Speed that shit up. So, why is it? Oh, we needed to reach out to 32 because 32 and everyone else is a hive mind. You tell 32 to do something, everyone else can also mobilize all across HD Academy. Now the turbines can be powered up. I'm like, why do you need 32 for this shit? You have electric powers to, you know, power the turbine nearby. No, no, no. Every turbine. There it is. All we had to do was power that shit up. Now, the plasma concentration shit, it's all getting, like, miscalculated. Hey! Did he just recalculate? Yeah. Dynamo motors. Basically, the Misaka clones powering the turbines. Let's go, 32. The Bidi Bidi sisters. Why is Thomas theme playing right now when it's basically Misaka and her clones popping off? Every one of them. Oh. Downgrade? Yo, where Toma at? Toma, get up. What was the whole talk there? Why did he just talk about visual acuity 2010? And that's the limit of this city, so I'll have to deal with it. What the fuck was that? What a random comment to make. How does that add to the story right now? Is that some, like, side content that I should be aware of? What the fuck did he... Like, the visual acuity shit, all I know is that Misaka is extremely precise with her railgun. And that's how... That's one of the parameters tested to see if she could be level 5. And the other clones, you know, they need the goggles because they can't be as precise as OG Misaka. It's, it, I, I don't know. He's just comparing himself to her? The vision? What is the, how does the visual acuity matter right now? Okay. He's limited by the level 5 visual acuity. Alright, Toma's up yapping. 
しれよ You really want to fight fist to fist? Break that illusion. Oh? That's right, nullified. One punch. <laughs> He's really landing all these punches. Is he down for the count? I think that's it. I think that's the decisive fucking punch. I'm punch. The weakest is one against the strongest. It's crazy shit. And I know that there's like this hidden element of surprise of like the nullification powers, but at a certain point, Accelerator has to realize that like, bro, close contact, like I cannot keep up with them, but I guess it's kind of the ego of being like the strongest versus the weakest. It's kind of like really annoying when the weakest is actually like beating me with his hands, right? So there's this like element of like underestimating Toma, the unknown of what his powers are. And at the end, that's what gets the best of him. Pride always shows before the downfall. And like, how the fuck did he tank all those hits? That's the other crazy shit. How did Toma tank all these hits? What the fuck is up with this durability? His HP bar seemingly is infinite. Like, this is a nerf Toma going into this battle, fighting Accelerator, and he still won after tanking all those shit. Like, 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 is the anime trying to tell me that there's something fundamentally different beyond this Imagine Breaker? Is this a, just anime logic that I don't even have to nitpick about? What the fuck was that? It's crazy. <sighs> Who's by our bedside? Misaka? Yeah. 32? Yeah. Hi. And the cat too. 32. 32. Because you saved him, bro. It's a reward. <laughs> He reached out. He can't feel it. The anesthesia makes his body numb from the neck below. His titty grab. He's touching it, but he doesn't feel it. It's so unfair. So close yet so far. Wah wah. Oh. oh, really? We reached out, but she took the hand and placed it. Ah, uh, of course, of course. The bioelectric waves, brain waves. Yeah, yeah. But why on the titty specifically? Monitoring you. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Unluckiest man in the city, quote unquote. Level 6 cat. What is up with this cat, bro? Is this just gonna be Misaka's cat now? Mm. Now, what's the tree dog I'm gonna think? Mm. The experiment's cancelled? It actually worked. But the fallout's gonna be interesting. So the tree diagram now can't do the recalculation because we shot down ODMA1. The existing plan is now cancelled because Thomas proven that a level 0 can beat the strongest level 5. But surely the tree diagram must realize that like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Like, like what are the people of this world, the important decision makers thinking? That a level 0 just beat Accelerator. This should flip like Academy City upside down, should it not? They have short lifespans. Shorter lifespans. That's kind of sad. Oh, they'll get recalibrated. Yes, I'm listening. I'm listening. They're going to get recalibrated. Sure, yeah, yeah. You're gonna increase your lifespan? So can that do that shit with real human beings? What the fuck? You, you just broke down the fucking biochemistry of that shit, but I guess it's all a fiction, right? Take the cat. We don't have a name for the cat yet. Sounds like it. They're gonna make this longer lifespan so they can stick around more. Bye bye. Oh yeah, the name is Dog. You're right, you're right. The cat's name is literally Dog. You're right. I haven't seen anyone call it Dog yet though. It's gonna be crazy. Mr. Frog Doctor. 
Yeah, second time here, huh? What's going on, frog doctor? Bye-bye. Bye. That bug sound. So aggressive. The real Misaka. Yo, bring 32 back. Oh, that's a gift? Wow. wow, something expensive. Super luxury cookies? Misaka can't cook for shit. Or bake. Ham handed. Boro boro cookie instead of bidi bidi cookie. I expect absolutely fucking nothing. All I expect is just unprovoked fucking anger and hostility from a tsundere like you. Stop! Stop! Bring 32 back. Okay, bye. Yeah, but she was a child that got manipulated by the scientists. Blame Academy City. Aww. Yo, Toma is such a good yapper. He knows exactly what to say. Because I'm sure Misaka has some sort of like regrets and shit about what happened in the past, right? Now he's just like, yup, all you did, it was actually worth it. It's all good, girl. Nah, it's not your fault. That's Accelerator and Tree Diagram's fault. Yeah, you indirectly did that. It's not your fault. True. Wow. One more time at the end there, huh? One more time at the end. That was a pretty significant line. The people you wanted to protect, the clones, who take their own pain and thrust it onto others to gratify themselves, right? Isn't this Toma kind of like calling out Misaka? Because that's kind of what Misaka was doing, right? Taking her own pain and thrusting it onto others to gratify them. Am I correct here? Because like the clones don't act like that, but Misaka kind of did on the bridge while just talking to Toma over and over. Was that not it? Is he literally not calling her out for the fucking bridge moment? Corrected. Yeah. Alright, bye. New arc setup? What's happening? Accelerator, where you at? Oh shit, someone's entering. Who is it? Index? No, sign. Oh, it's Index! <laughs> What's up? What's, what you doing, Index? Hey. Nothing. What I do? I did nothing. Why is she biting us? Oh, she was worried. Oh. Yeah, Index was pretty much benched for this arc. Right? This arc was more of, you know, Toma, Misaka, Accelerator. Index and Hime and, you know, uh, Sensei. They were all just. What are they doing? They're eating, like, um, grilled meat. He may stealing all the fucking meat while Sensei basically does exposition and just does a crazy fucking lore drop on the show. Whatever Sensei says is so crazy. Like, it's, it's like, because I have my chat to help and I read the wiki from time to time to kind of understand the setting of the story, it makes sense. But imagine the anime only, just, like, listening to Sensei's lore drop and just being like, Poltergeist? Or if JK, personal reality? <laughs> Yeah, you were benched this arc. <laughs> Can we rely on you? Uh, the safety of all 10,000 plus clones. Oh. For myself. Onesama! Motorboat. <laughs> Motorboat. Yo, what's Accelerator up to? 32! 32 and kitty! Or 32 and dog! Aww. I'm very happy 32 and dog are just chilling together. What's Accelerator? I wanted to see like a cutscene of Accelerator. Like, what's he, what's he doing? Is he at a hospital? I don't know. Like, like, what's Accelerator's perspective right now? And that's today's episode of Index. The conclusion of this arc, which is probably... Yeah, this is probably my favorite arc. 
There's some really great moments in the previous arcs too. I really like the conclusion of Toma versus the uh fuck, I forgot his name. Uh the guy that basically just like his he had inject shit in and Toma had like the dragon fucking aura showed up. That was a really good moment. Arc 1, you know, the intro arc too, Toma had a lot of great moments, but Accelerator versus Toma, like, this is some peak shit. And obviously, everyone loves Accelerator, and even if he's like, you know, the main antagonist right now, I'm sure he'll turn around. He got too cocky for his own good. Like, if he just maintained a range and used his attacks over and over, I bet that he could have won, but I guess Toma was tanking so many hits. And he also got too cocky, since he is the strongest and Toma should be the weakest. And in a hand-to-hand -hand combat, Accelerator can't fight for shit. Another example of a person with these godlike powers that are absolute amateurs in actual martial arts or like street fighting because they don't have to rely on it. They have these godlike powers. The craziest shit is when he's like going... <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Some people saying he's doing fucking math when he's going... <laughs> Okay, sure, he's doing math with his fucking voice and he's creating the plasma shit. Misaka had a great moment. The clones all had a great moment to help out. And Toma, one fucking final punch. And this is crazy. Again, Toma just like, his powers are insane. But if you really think about it, all he can do is run away, tank shit, and then try to find an opportunity to get a land in. There were some really, um, what's the word? Satisfying these punch animations. And it's not like he can punch like together, like left hand. He just keeps doing... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Accelerator kept taking those fucking hits. This is great. Now, the plan for the Radio Band Sisters is over. It's canceled. Toma's theory that if a level 0 beats a level 5, it can be done has been proven. Now, what will happen? I don't even know if the tree diagram is still even up since we defeated, you know, or we destroyed, you know, Orihime 1. Does other tree diagrams exist? Or is that the gone of the machine gods? Are the people going to realize that they can listen to their own voice rather than rely on the machines? Or are there other backups? And if there are other backups, what are they thinking? That a level 0 just fucking beat a level 5? What are we going to do? Are they going to think of, oh shit, maybe let's inspect this Toma guy. Maybe he has the secrets that we've been looking for. I'm not really sure. But that's it for this arc, and I hope next arc is just as good. That's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.